The bassoon is a member of the woodwind family. Now, within that family, you have no reed instruments, like the flute, we have single reed instruments, like the saxophone and clarinet, and then we have our double reed instruments, such as the oboe and the bassoon. Now, like the other instruments, there is a variation to the bassoon. You also have the contrabassoon, which plays an octave lower. And not only is the contrabassoon an octave lower, but it is also twice as large. The bassoon, when unrolled, measures out to about 9 feet and 2 inches, while the contrabassoon measures to about 18 feet. Now, bassoonists usually have a little cup like this, and what this is for is to put water so that your reed can soak. Since it is a double reed, you want to soak it in water so that the inside and the outside get soaked. If you were to do, uh, just put it in your mouth the way that you do a clarinet reed, you would only soak the outsides. Now the way that bassoonists check if it's moist and if it is a good reed is that you crow on it and you make this sound and if you hear fluctuations in the pitch uh, then you know that it is a functioning reed. bassoon is shrouded in mystery. No one can quite pinpoint the country it came from or exactly what instrument it developed from. But without question there are two instruments that we do consider its predecessors. One is the bass palmer, which is the lowest instrument in the Sham family, and that was from the Middle Ages in Europe. And then the second instrument is the dulcian. Over time, after the bass palmer and the dulcian came the Baroque bassoon during the Baroque era. And this instrument didn't have many keys and it was difficult to play, but it most closely resembles the bassoon we have today. Now, over time, more adjustments were made to it, uh, more keys were added, and it turned more into the modern bassoon. And now for a short bassoon duet. 